Okay, hi. <laughs> My intention today was to create a video showing you how I test an item and upload the video to YouTube and insert it into an eBay listing, but the Atari wouldn't work for me. And either it doesn't work or I just can't figure it out. So <laughs> I have to wait for my husband to get home and see if he can figure it out because if it's not working, fine. I can part it out and it's, it'll be fine. But anyway, besides the point. So plan B. So, <laughs> so today I'm going to make a video about how I photograph garments. Um, I know a lot of people have really cool setups, but I just don't have the money to go buy those big umbrella looking things and, you know, they have a whole room or a section in their house with a big white wall and, you know, I just can't, I don't have the space and I don't have the funds to set that kind of system up. So I'm going to show you what I do um, and I hope it helps. <laughs> Alright, first things first. I like to work in a clean area, so all the breakfast dishes and all of that stuff has got to go, you know, and cleaning up the whole area where I'm going to be working. So I'm going to clean that up. Okay, be so back. behind me you can see I've got one of those trifold screens um, that's covered with fabric, and you can pick those up like, I don't think they're too much. Um, I think Ikea even has them, so you could pick up something like that or get, you know, you get the idea. But I turn it around because there's the fabric is lighter on the back. Next. I take a white sheet, and I should probably run it through the dryer, but um, it's pretty easy to edit out the, the wrinkles. There's a on PicMonkey. There's a feature called a wrinkle remover, it's supposed to be for you know touching up face wrinkles, but I use it to touch up my <laughs> sheet wrinkles. <laughs> okay, so you can see I take the sheet and I just throw it over that screen. It's pretty wrinkly, but oh well. <laughs> All right, so I just picked this up Tuesday at the charity shop. It's a Rowenta Ultra Steam. It said it works, $3. And it's supposed to get hot within like 50 seconds. So we'll see. It'll be ready. <laughs> I'm going to try to steam out some of these wrinkles because I'm lazy. I don't really feel like putting it in the dryer. Oh, <laughs> it's hot. Oop. Don't test with your hand. Boop, boop. Bad idea. Well, I gave up on the, the Ultra Steam, too. Apparently, I'm more impatient than I thought. Uh, so I went and put it in the dryer to try to get out some of the wrinkles. So in the meantime, I thought I would show you something else that I use. Um, I take a plastic sleeve protector, and I made a copy um, of these are measurements as pants. And that is jackets. <clears throat> and this is by no means my idea. I got this. I can't remember who whose idea this was. I wish I could credit them. Um, but I got, you know, went online and then I just printed this off. And I figure since I'm not selling it or whatever, I'm just using it at home. Um, so after I take my photographs, I straight away measure the garment, <clears throat> lay it out on my kitchen table right over here, and um, write the measurements on here with a vis-a-vis, vis -vis. because this one, you know, you can, once you've done it, I take the measurements on here, and then I lay it on top of the garment, and then take another picture of this on top of the garment so that when I'm listing, I can see the measurements with the garment so I don't get it all mis mixed up. And then when it's done, I just take a damp cloth, wipe off the vis-a-vis, -vis, and then um, I'm ready to go for the next one. So it's been pretty handy. I'll show you. All right, and another thing that I've got are the mannequins. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> uh, the mannequins because, one, I got the hanging style because I don't have a lot of space to keep a full-size mannequin. I don't have... A lot of storage space for that um, and then these I can just pop in she some clothes <laughs> these I can pop into the closet and um, not have to worry about how much space they're taking up and they you know they stack so pretty small uh, plus okay so these ones I did buy retail um, I had done a search I've been looking forever for mannequins I really wanted to 
used them and I couldn't find them. And of course, like right after I got them, someone I had let know that I was looking said, oh, I found some. Too late. <laughs> so I used them. I'll show you how. Okay, so the first thing I'm photographing is this. It's a Talbot sweater. I picked it up yesterday. Um, it's a nice, pretty gray wool sweater with lots of beads and embroidery and things on it. Um, so I'll put it on my mannequin, and it's a hanging mannequin, so I'll hang it up here on the top of my um, screen. So it's got the white background behind it, and it's hard to, it looks pretty dark in here, but what I can do later is on my uh, editing, I can go back and brighten it up a little bit. That's what I do. So I make sure I get uh, pictures with it buttoned up and with it open. Normally, well, sometimes I'll throw a shirt on her because I feel bad. I mean, who wants to see that? I don't know. You go for it. So I'll space her out. She looks really pretty. Get my, I use my phone. Get the phone out. Okay, so I've got my pictures of her with her jacket closed, open, and then I'm going to flip her around, take a picture of the back of the jacket, I'll flip it inside out, take photographs of the inside of the jacket, all the tags, and um, I'll tag those into the, the video. You guys, keep reminding me, look at the camera, Margaret. I keep, you know, you check yourself. Check yourself. So I'm checking myself, and I need to be talking to you, not myself, which I normally do, but whatever. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my pictures taken and I'm ready to measure. So I recommend taking a straight, like um, a yardstick or a meter stick, uh, one that is uh, rigid, not, um, gosh, why can't I talk today? Because it's I'm talking to you, you know who you are. <laughs> um, not like a tape measure that's, you know, fabric that can bend and wrinkle because some people, you know, maybe it won't matter, maybe it will. I, let's just leave it at that, okay? I recommend a flat, firm, straight type measuring implement like a yardstick or a meter stick that you won't have to worry about it wrinkling or bending. There, no explanation needed, right? That's right. <laughs> So, I take my measuring stick and I'm going to go measure away. <laughs> Alright, so uh, find a nice flat surface where you can spread out your item, your jacket, sweater, whatever. Um, I've tried <laughs> measuring while it's still on the hanger, but it really didn't work that great for me. So, uh, I probably ought to button it up, but I'm not going to. So. <laughs> Button it up, flatten it out, and then take your measuring stick. And then the first measurement I'm going to do is from underneath the armpit, from one armpit to the other armpit that goes right there. So I will take this, make sure I have it on the right side. There we go. And from right under that armpit, straight across to this armpit and we're looking at 20 inches and I take my of course where did I find it there it is <laughs> 20 inches right there and then I'm going to do the sleeves and the sleeves I measure right from the top seam down to the cuff so right there all the way down to the cuff and that's measuring 23 and a half inches 23 and a half inches, and I'll mark it here, 23 and a half, and then I'll flip my sweater over, make sure once again that it's laying out flat, nice and flat, 
Now, if any of my measurements, if you feel like I'm doing it wrong, or you do it a different way, or there's a way I'm, you know, I'm not the expert. This is just how I do it. And if I'm wrong, I want to know. So let me know. <laughs> All right, so next, I'm measuring across the shoulders from one seam to the, the next. Wait, once again, make sure I'm on the right side. For whatever reason, it's not the same. So there, all the way over to here, it looks like it's just about 18 inches across the shoulders. And even though it says it's a size small, I like to put the measurements on there. Sometimes I forget, but I like to get the measurements on there so that there are no confusions because what if it's shrunk or what if it's not true to size, you know, who knows. Uh, then next, I go from the top of the neck down to the hem of the garment. Oh, it's going to sleep on me. So here, down to here, it looks like about 24 inches. It's just under 24 inches. Uh, and so that's, that's the, that's what I do there. And then, <laughs> now, here's a tip. When you take the picture of it, so let's say I take the picture like this, chick. It looks like gray fabric behind it, which is awesome. But let's say I have another gray sweater. Or if I'm doing suits and I've got a couple suits that are gray, pinstripe, whatever. <sighs> I've made that mistake. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, take the sweater or jacket, flip it over, and take a picture of the measurements under the tag. So you'll, you get the tag and the measurements in the same photo. So there are no, uh, there's no confusion there. Thanks so much for watching. I'm hoping that you're able to pick up at least something new, something that you can use, a tip or a laugh or whatever. Um, again, thanks for watching my video. Uh, make sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, like, subscribe, and find me at Texas Gal Treasures. And I was... I left a comment for Angela Martin. I don't know if you follow her. She's another thrifter gardener. Um, and I said something about, man, you guys, have, a lot of you have catchphrases at the end. I need to come up with a catchphrase. This is fun. Um, so I normally say enjoy yourself at the end. And so I, I think I'm going to stick with that um, because it's sort of a motto and theme song of mine, uh, Louis Prima's Enjoy Yourself song. Um, because, yeah. You never know. Boom. And it's over. And it's all done. So don't waste your time being, well, you'd be sad if you need to be sad. But be sad and enjoy it. <laughs> or, you know, find something every day. Just go find something every day that you enjoy. And, yeah, and do that. Because it can be over. You can walk out the door and meteorite falls on you. You never know. You never know. Ooh, this is heavy. Deep breath. Go and enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bid. All right. <laughs>